direct selling, if you look at, it's about 15, 20 years old industry in India. Globally, it's about 100 years old industry. If you look, it's only after from last five years that we have grown in the double digit. Earlier, we were growing, in the beginning, we were growing at 7%, 8%, 9%. If you look, we are going parallelly to the India growth story. India is growing now between 7 to 9%, which is expected. And uh, direct selling is growing at about 27% for this year. Pra previously, it was 25%. Before 25%, it was at 17%. So if you look at over the last couple of years, 13% to 17%, 17% to 25 25 to 27 That's the growth which we have seen over the last couple of years. And currently, in the future, we are looking at 20% CAGR for the next four years. That's what we are looking for, the growth of direct selling. But this, what we are seeing, is just a tip of an iceberg. If we have some sort of following things, clarity in the definition, aspect of uh, direct selling and operational clarity with respect to guidelines, then definitely there will be a huge more potential in direct selling, in direct selling industry. And further, if you look at what is it that IDSA does, we do forums like Knowledge Forum all over the, all over the country to educate people about the uh, stakeholders, which includes the media, the state governments, the central government, as to what is the way of doing the right way of doing direct selling business. It is through these programs that we do image augmentation of direct selling as a concept within India. With the stakeholders, that includes the central and the state government, we go and do lot of, lots and lots of representation in which we talk about what is direct selling, what are the different laws applicable within the country. We also do representations of other countries in which we give them the laws, etc., of Malaysia, Singapore, UK, and USA. So these are two more, more factors in which we are working towards this. Further, we have done a major report of socio-economic impact. So these are the reports, mediums, through which we try to reach our stakeholders.